Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with your SSD or solid state drive not showing up in either disk management or the BIOS on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, make sure you actually have a decent connection with the SSD. So make sure that the SATA cables are properly connected and that they are tight, you know, that it's not loose. You don't want a loose connection because that could certainly explain why it's not detecting it on your computer if it doesn't have a good, solid connection. So that's one thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else you may also want to consider as well is opening up the search menu. Type in create and format, best match to come back to create and format hard disk partitions. Go ahead and open that up. So potentially, you know, even though you're not seeing the disk quote unquote in here, you may see unallocated space that, you know, coincidentally is about the size of the hard drive that you have installed. So if you see something like that, you would want to initialize the disk. So right click on the unallocated space if you see any in here and select new simple volume. Select next, and we're going to be basically just following along with the wizard here. Assign a drive letter to it, and you will select next. You can name this hard drive whatever you want, but you're going to have to give it a name in here. And then make sure perform a quick format is check mark. Select next, and then finish. And then the hard drive should hopefully be recognized on your system at this point. So a pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a bio is able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.